Hey there! Today we're going to be talking about all the different varieties of seventh chords. <clears throat> uh, this is a continuation of a lesson series that started with major scales. Uh, continue, well, we started off with the cage system, did major scales. The last lesson we did in this series, we actually built triads, major, minor, diminished, and augmented triads. This week what we're going to do is we're going to add one more note and give you all the different varieties of seventh chords which are four note chords. The first one we're going to deal with is a major seventh chord. And a major seventh chord starts off with a major triad. Now one thing to keep in mind is if you haven't done the lessons leading up to this you need to backtrack because none of this will make sense. So we're going to start off with our major triad. Root, major third, perfect fifth out of your G major scale. Right? Out of the G major scale, we're using the first note, the third note, <clears throat> which happens to be called the major third, and the fifth note, which happens to be the perfect fifth. To make it a major seventh chord, we're also going to add the seventh note of the scale, which would be F sharp in this case. So we have G for the root, B for the major third, D for the perfect fifth, and F sharp for the major seventh. And then we'll just continue up root, which is the G, B, which is the major third, D, which is the perfect fifth, F sharp, which is the major seventh, and G, which is the root. And in that position, those are all the notes that you're going to find. Below the root, in that position, we're also going to have this one F sharp, which is a major seventh as well. If I was to practice this, just like we did with the scales, we want to play all the notes starting and ending on a root, so I would also pick that up. In the written materials for this lesson, I'm also going to be giving you the chord voicings. Um, if you wanted to not just play the arpeggio, but to actually know what the chord is for these, uh, that'll be in that as well at my, uh, at my blog. The next chord we're going to deal with is very similar. It's a dominant seventh chord. Now, when I was a, a high schooler in jazz band, uh, I was really, really a beginning guitar student, and I'd see these charts, and they would have major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, and all I knew was uh, what I knew as a seventh chord, so I figured they were all the same. So I'd play these songs, and everything would be the seventh chord, which is what we know as a dominant seventh chord. And that's not the case. I learned kind of the hard way that all this other stuff is important as well. When we just say major seventh, we're dealing with the major seventh chord that we're playing before, which is the major triad with the major seventh, or the seventh of the major scale. When we say dominant seventh, or just seven, in this case, G7, uh, we're going to be playing that major triad again, but instead of the major seven, we're going to be dropping it down a half step to a minor seven. Alright, so we're going to have G for the root, B for the major third, D for the perfect fifth, F natural for the minor seventh, G for the root, B for the third, D for the fifth, and then, you know, we could have dropped the major seventh down here, but it's kind of awkward. We're actually going to play it up here on the sixth fret second string, the F there for the uh, minor seventh, and then the root. Alright, so once again we've got root, third, fifth, minor seven, root, third, fifth, minor seven, root. And that is a, a uh, dominant seventh chord. The next uh, flavor of seventh chord that we're going to have is going to be a minor seventh chord, which happens to be a minor triad with the minor seventh. So we're going to take your, your minor chord. So to make a minor chord, we're going to take our major chord, root third and fifth, and lower the third. Let me back up so you can see a little bit better. So we have root, minor third, perfect fifth. The alternate fingering for this is here. Uh, the B flat can either be on the first fret fifth string or the uh, sixth fret sixth string. And for right now, I'm going to play it here. I'll go through both fingerings for you. We have root, minor third, perfect fifth, minor seven, root, and then here's your minor third again, perfect fifth, minor seven, root, and then we also have a handy minor third up here, so we'll get that one too. 
uh, and then going back down, root, minor 7, perfect 5th, minor 3rd, root, minor 7th, perfect 5th, minor 3rd, root. You can even get the uh, minor 7th down here if you wanted to. Um, another fingering that people like for this is basically keeping it here in this position, going root, the minor 3rd, still on the 6th string, 5th, minor 7th, root, minor 3rd, 5th, minor 7th, root, minor 3rd. Um, if you've done any of my lessons or have actually worked on the minor pentatonic scale, you're going to actually notice a little glitch there that this looks pretty familiar. Basically this minor 7th arpeggio is your minor pentatonic without the 4th note of the scale or the perfect 4th. So, so far we've had major 7th, dominant 7th, and minor 7th. Now we can take your diminished triad and which would be root, minor third, and diminished fifth, and we can make two chords out of that, the first one being half diminished, or also called minor seven flat five. One of the things about chords like this, once you start getting into extensions um, above the octave, like we're talking about ninth chords and elevenths uh, and thirteenths, and, and even with seventh chords, is that you're going to start finding some of these chords can go by one or more names and they can also be written a couple different ways. Uh, I'll try and give you one or two of the most common um, ways that you're going to find them but you know everybody's got kind of a different way to write some of this stuff. Uh, sometimes for a major seventh chord you know, it'll say just uh, G major and you're expected to know it's a major seven. You'll see G with a triangle and a seven. You'll see G M A J seven. You know, there's, there's all different systems of writing this stuff, so. Anyway, in terms of this chord, which is a half diminished or minor 7 flat 5 chord, we're playing your minor, or your diminished triad, root, minor 3rd, uh, diminished 5th, minor 7th, and then we keep going root, minor 3rd, diminished fifth, and then here is your minor seventh root, and then minor third. You can also put that uh, diminished fifth back here. You know, it can be kind of awkward, depends on how you want to do it. That's your minor seven flat five chord, or half diminished. The other diminished chord we're going to deal with actually ends up being your minor, or your diminished triad, root, minor third, diminished fifth, and then the sixth note of the scale. Sometimes I've seen this in theory books called uh, a double flat seven, a diminished seven. Um, the one I see the most that's just easiest for students to, to recognize is when we just say major six. So you've got root, minor third, perfect fifth, major sixth. Root, minor third, diminished fifth, major sixth, root, minor third. Um, there's a bunch of, like I said, there's, you could do it like root, minor third, diminished fifth, and then play, instead of playing the diminished, or the major sixth here, we're going to play it up here. We can actually kind of crawl this up a different way. Uh, root, minor third, diminished fifth, major sixth, root, minor third, diminished fifth, major sixth, root, minor third, diminished fifth. <laughs>